हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लेक्चर सेवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स यूजिंग फर्मेंस थियरम इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर सिक्स वी लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज फर्मेंस थियरम सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट मल्टीप्लीकेटिव इनवर्स यूजिंग फर्मेंस लिटल थियरम सो फर्मेंस स्टेटेड दैट इफ यू हैव एन इक्वेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए इनवर्स मॉड पी देन इट इज इक्वल टू ए रेज टू पी माइनस टू मॉड पी इफ एंड ओनली इफ P is a prime number, all right? So let us solve two example and find out their multiplicative inverses. So the first equation we have here is eight inverse mod seventeen. Well, you we can see that seventeen is the prime number, so we will be applying this formula, all right? So eight inverse will be equal to eight raised to seventeen minus two mod. Seventeen, seventeen minus two because a is two p minus two is our formula. So p here is seventeen. All right. So we can write it as eight raised to fifteen mod seventeen. Now to find its inverse, we what we can do is we have to factorize it. So we can write it as eight raised to seven into Eight raised to eight mod seventeen. So now we are going to teach you a very nice method uh, using calculator. So first of all, we have to find out mod for this eight raised to seven. All right. So eight raised to seven gives us this. So to find modulus of this, we have to divide it with the modulus number we are being given. So it is seventeen. So divide eight raised to seven with seventeen. So we get this sort of answer. Now you have to subtract all the numbers which are before decimal from this. So we are going to subtract number one, two, three, three, six, one. We are getting this. Now you have to multiply it with the number. we just divided it that is our prime number so now multiply it with 17 you got your answer as 15 so 8 raised to 7 mod 17 gives us 15 now we have to find out for 8 raised to 8 okay so again let us follow the same method using calculator so 8 raised to 8 divide it with 17 subtract the numbers that are before decimal 9 8 6 8 and now multiply it with 17 we got our answer as close to 1 so we can write it as 1 so 8 raised to 7 is 15 8 raised to 8 is 1 all right so 15 into 1 mod 17 which will always give us the answer as 15 only so by solving this we can say that 8 inverse mod 17 is 15 all right so now let us move to another example which says that 22 inverse mod 211 211 again is a prime number so now we can write it as 22 raise 2 Two zero nine, which is two one one minus two, our formula mod two one one. Now we have to again factorize it as we saw in the first example. So we can factorize it as twenty two raised to two zero five into twenty two raised to four mod. Two one one, all right. So now we can see that if we we again have to factorize this two zero five also because twenty two raised to two zero five will take us to ten raised to something. So we don't want that kind of cliche, all right. So again we have to twenty uh, uh, sorry again we have to factorize this two zero five also. So we can do it is with twenty two raised to four. So we can write it as 22 raised to 4 so now 
we have to again factorize this 205 as it is a very large number right so how we can do it is 22 raised to 5 raised to 41 into 22 raised to 4 mod 2 1 1 all right so now let us find out the mod for 22 raised to 5 so again by using calculator we will be doing it 22 raised to 5 divide by the number p given which is 211 so divide it by 211 subtract all the numbers before decimal so 24424 24. multiply it with 211 gives us 168 all right 168 raised to 41 into 22 raised to 4 mod 211 now again 41 is a large number so we are going to factorize it once again so we can write it as 168 raised to 40 into 168 into 22 raised to 4 mod 211 we did it because for ease of calculation because here we are getting an even number all right nothing much more in this so now we are going to calculate it as a multiple of 4 so we can write it as 168 raised to 4 raised to 10 just we did it in 205 remember so now what we can do is we can find for 168 and 22 raised to 4 because i think that it will be comparatively a smaller number all right so what are we getting as 22 raised to 4 okay this number and now let us multiply it with 168 168 so okay we would be able to calculate it so divide this number by 211 subtract all the numbers before decimal so 186 516 multiply it with 211 gives us 132 mod 211 now we have to find it for 168 raised to 4 so again find it for 168 raised to 4 divide by 211 minus three seven seven five three two seven into two one one gives us one seventy nine so one seventy nine raised to ten into one thirty two mod two one one so now again factorize ten we would be getting one seventy nine square 179 4 square into 132 mod 211 so if you solve these numbers with the trick i taught you you would be getting your answer as 128 into 117 into 117 mod 211 so multiply all these three number and last time you have to do the shortcut method which we taught you which is 128 into 117 into 117 gives us this number divide it with 211 subtract the numbers before decimal 8304 into 211 gives us 48 and 48 itself is our answer for the question 22 inverse mod 211 all right thank you